The League of Women's Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that has been around for nearly a hundred years. Made up of men, women, and people of all ages, they've been fighting since 1920 to engage people in decisions that impact their lives and improve our government. They held a forum to help voters get to know candidates running for the Mamaroneck Democratic primary just a little bit better and some of their views on very important issues. Formed from the movement that secured the right to vote for women, the main focus of the League's efforts is to give a voice to all Americans. The forum did just that, giving voice to the candidates that will ultimately be working to hear the voice of all those voting for them. The four candidates are Andres Bermudez Hallstrom, Alyssa Miller, Leon Patak, all of which are incumbents, and newcomer David Finch, who is running for the first time. There are five issues being explored in the forum. The first is whether or not the Board of Trustees should consider changing zoning regulations to permit construction of multifamily condos on the Hampshire Golf Club property. That's what I'm saying. We have to consider. We have to consider reasonable proposals. Okay. Proposals that fit as close as possible to our zoning or the intent of our zoning. The second issue is the question of should the Harbor and Coastal Zone Management Commission's decisions be advisory, as many board decisions are, or should they carry the weight of the commission and be binding? How much weight should actually be given to this commission? It's been mm -hmm. in the press lately that the Board of Trustees has made the HCCM advisory for everything. That is a misstatement. Okay. The only change that was recently done was that now the HCCM is advisory only with regards to village laws and proposed laws and policies and uh, village projects. Okay. So, so if the application is anybody other than the village of Mamaroneck, okay. then their decision is binding. If the application is the village of Mamaroneck, then it is rec a recommendation. And the candidates are then asked to outline a strategy for preserving structures such as the Playhouse Movie Theater, which is going to be demolished and replaced with condos. The key question has been, can we retain it as a theater? And the current owners who bought it and have you know, movie houses around the Northeast uh, do not want to run a movie theater there. Perhaps with new owners, we can find some way to retain some performance space in the building. But I think it will take new owners. The future of sport time at Harbor Island Park is discussed, and even the fate of our very own LMC TV is addressed, and the possible use of the old firehouse to move the studios. I know that there are various creative ways to have a community that has a television studio, a local television studio on its main street, on Sav Avenue, will attract a lot more people into LMC TV, attract different types of programming, hopefully up that programming, and also be attractive to others who are looking to come into this community. There are people that love TV and want to get into it, and if they have access to a way to do that that's right in their backyard and right in their community, well, what better way to do that? The forum was an hour long and is available on lmctv.org. Remember that the power of the democratic process is that you exercise your right to vote. The primary will be held on September 9th and the league will be holding its annual candidates debate on October 8th. For The Local Live, I'm Anthony Carlo signing off.